funding him? Or is she the victim of a bizarre mental illness that may kill him? On the next Mari Povich show, meet a mother whose child was taken away from her by the justice system. Key to this case was when the mother was separated from the child, the illness went away. On the next Mari. Wednesday at 11 on 21 Alive. Next Sally, grandparents fight to see their grandchildren. Oh, my. All right, more and more people are looking at untraditional, non-conventional, different kinds of medicine because they're fed up with the traditional medical community. Have you heard of homeopathic medicine? Yes. Yeah. You don't know what that is. Either. <laughs> George Guess, MD, joins us. You're a homeopathic physician from Virginia. You used to be uh, from North Carolina. They threw them out. <laughs> this is an MD, legit. MD, residence, intern, all that stuff. And he starts practicing homeopathy. What happened, doctor? Well, first I chose to leave. I didn't get thrown out. I well, was told they, to stop doing homeopathy. All right. It's semantics, but it's still But it was a difference. big legal fight. I don't want to spend all night on this. You won at the appellate level. You got beat at the Supreme Court State level Supreme in North Court. Carolina. And then the United States Supreme Court refused to grant cert. Right. They came after you because you were using alternative therapies that they said uh, didn't work, and there was a big legal argument about whether it caused an ill effect on the patient, and you were, I think, able to prove that it didn't. Actually, that's incorrect. To them, the issue of safety and effectiveness were irrelevant. They solely focused on the fact that it didn't conform to acceptable prevailing standard. Basically said, this form of medicine is different. Yeah. Therefore, you can't do it. Yeah. You did essentially what? This is, you had remedies for certain patients after you got to know them. Is, is this how, how I understand after homeopathy? After I got to know them quite well, the usual interview lasts one and a half to two hours. Uh, and you would call that right away non-traditional because a lot of MDs don't have that kind of time for patients. Mm -hmm. I see. Very. All right, I said that. You didn't. Um, and this is, animal, vegetable, and mineral ingredients go in the remedy? Usually. Uh huh. What would be like for an example? Uh, I mean, I just give this audience a sense of what you were doing that shook them so much in the AMA. Well, I'll take an example of something relatively minor. For instance, I might see a kid with an acute earache, and if he's really screaming in violent pain, um, you know, flushed red face, maybe one side of the face red, the other pale. I would, right. I might give a dilute preparation of the herb chamomile. We call it a like the tea? chamomilla, like the tea. However, when it's prepared homeopathically, it becomes exceptionally more powerful and capable of uh, you know about curing it. a problem. Yes, I do. My you grandmother know. used to use it yeah. all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your grandmother died at an early age, too. No, no. 92. What? 92. So you understand what Dr. Guess is up to? I then. certainly do. All right, here's one for you. Yeah. Uh, I would like to know, does he use, uh, like, camphor? And is an old crazy thing called kerosene, sugar, and honeys? Well, and interesting, interestingly, both of those are homeopathic medicines, but we use them a according to very strict criteria. There have to be a very specific kind of clinical presentation to use either of those. Uh, you uh, <clears throat> you want to make the point that your medicines have no side effect, no toxic side effect. Correct. I understand you also, your purpose is to give the minimum dosage so you're not overwhelming somebody with a new ingredient in their bodies. You touch them, there's a lot of Eastern here, you know, you look them over, take a look in the eyeball, and uh, you're not uh, throwing uh, uh, antibiotics into people. I might, I might resort to an antibiotic if it's necessary. You go back on the old MD when you have to then. Right. My preference is to use safe therapy, safe and gentle therapy first. And unless there's like a really urgent problem, like if I had an acute meningitis, I would give an antibiotic. If I had the opportunity, I would like to simultaneously give a homeopathic medicine believing from my experience it would facilitate and greatly speed the, the yeah. curative result. Uh -huh. Now, I didn't mean to brush over this legal thing. I mean, your, your soul was on trial here. You're, this is your professional life, and you had some very big guns come down on your head. You were, after the Supreme Court refused to grant cert, you were permitted to practice traditional mental in, uh, medicine in North Carolina. I don't mean to say you were thrown out. But as a matter of conscience, you chose not to, and you now practice in Virginia, and there's nobody coming after you. Where's the busload of lawyers here? Well, I heard, it was interesting, the day I opened my practice in Virginia, God forbid, I got two calls from radio stations. All I wanted to do after my experience is have a very private practice. Yeah. Saying, hey, we heard you got thrown out of North Carolina, and we want to comment. And by the way, we asked the Virginia Board of Medical Examiners how they feel about this. You know, I'm going, oh. And uh, 
I heard tell, I didn't hear the, uh, the actual spot on the radio, but one of the reporters reiterated that the Virginia board said it was okay for me to do what I'm doing. So you are out there uh, <clears throat> feeling some pressure then from the... Right, but that's, that brings up to my mind, though, the other point that it's basically okay for me to do what I'm doing in every other state of the union except North Carolina. Stephen Barrett, MD, a brother doctor sits to your right. Dr. Guess? <clears throat> He thinks there's a lot of quackery going on here. Doctor. Well, he's entitled to his opinion. Sugar, water, you know, the potions and the herbs and the spices. Here comes the wagon. I got an elixir for you. Take the money and get out of town. Feeling better? I'll give you a little nothing here. How am I doing? Not too bad. I hate to, I hate to frame it in such harsh terms, because I think Dr. Guess is an honorable man. I've read the transcript of his hearing. And I think he sincerely believes in what he does. And I, I certainly would not want to imply that he doesn't believe that uh, what he's doing is legitimate. The problem is, though, it really hasn't been, that, that it hasn't been proven that homeopathic remedies work. It has not been proven they're any more effective than a glass of water. Uh, homeopaths themselves admit that there's nothing in many of their potent remedies. I have one here, this little bottle. It's, the stuff in here is diluted so many times that there's not a single molecule left of the original substance, and yet wow. they claim it's a powerful medicine. Well, maybe your grievance is with the manufacturer, not with the homeopathy. No, this is straight homeopathy. What is this stuff? Nux, 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 Nux vomica. vomica. I could use some Well, you'll love that one, especially for TV. That's prepared from the poison nut plant, and the basic ingredient of the material plant is strychnine. Uh, well, then I don't love it. And do, you, <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you use this stuff? You yeah, use that's a very common remedy. You do? And will it take care of my cold and my sore throat and my runny nose and stuff like that? As is the case with many remedies, they can have multiple uses. Nux vomica is very common. It can work for hay fever the and colds. Doctors say there's nothing in here. It's so diluted. You got somebody making a lot of money selling nothing. Well, you see, this doesn't is... even smell. There's nothing in here. Hold your hand out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. No, oh, wait a minute. Excuse me. Go ahead. Make your point, Doctor. Well, my first point is number one. It's true. It's extremely dilute. And by virtue of that, is one of the greatest um, beauties of homeopathy is that it's safe. Yeah. But secondarily... It isn't safe if it doesn't work. Little well, granules. Based, based on my experience and Can others, and I would, I, would, I would say if you were to sit in a homeopathic's office, you would see the results. But there are many scientific studies. Nux vomica. Many to show it. And... Well, what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to drop or something? <laughs> Uh, doesn't taste, you know. You That's why it. kids love it. Yeah. Uh, and to his specific point that this is just, you know, it does taste like certs or, uh, you know, those little things you buy, what do you call them? Tic Tacs, yeah. I can. Sure, you can try one, you know. We might as well all be in this together, all right? Lord, well, we're going to have um, a proving of Nux Vomica throughout yeah. the audience. Make your point, Dr. Barrett. Uh, just, just give us, the wrap it up here. I want this audience to know your feelings here, and you don't want to send... Dr. Guest to jail. You admire his purpose. You believe he's got a, a good heart. However... I think homeopaths treat mostly people that, have do, that don't have anything seriously wrong with them. Most of them get better by themselves, and then the homeopaths claim the credit. And I think that's typical in the way in which a homeopaths, naturopaths, uh, vitamin doctors, and all the rest uh, gain a large following. Alan R. Gaby, M.D. I got so many doctors here, boy, I hope anybody got a backache, we got some free advice here. Listen to this. Dr. Gaby is a very unusual animal. He's actually an M.D. and a nutritionist. Uh, and we've done a number of programs making the point that, that, uh, that certainly in the time that I was growing up and in recent years, doctors have had very little nutritional uh, education. Uh, do I understand you don't believe in traditional mental pre mental medical practice at all? I think conventional medicine is wonderful when it's necessary, but it's frequently too expensive and too dangerous and doesn't work. What I like to do is safer and more effective therapies when I can. And I see people, I don't agree with Dr. Barrett that people get better all the time. The patient that typically comes to me has had their problems for anywhere from 3 to 25 years. 80% of them have marked improvement. We use dietary modifications, we use vitamins and mineral supplements. I often give them by intravenous injection and see more dramatic results than I find with any other yeah. therapy. This is a nutrition, is this like a vitamin B complex? Do I understand the uh, injection? That's I, part of it, yes. Uh -huh. And this uh, enhances energy? 
That's one of the things it can do. We treat fatigue, depression. We can, we can knock out an acute migraine attack in 30 seconds. So do your uh, patients administer the injection themselves? No, they come to the office. They receive it uh -huh. in the office. And this is probably in the buttocks, huh? Well, actually, it usually goes into the vein. Into the vein, the right. vitamin B. And, and magnesium we put in there usually. Magnesium, uh-huh. Well, I gotta try some of this stuff. <laughs> if, uh, because like uh, it. <laughs> it is a fact that increasing numbers of people are saying, hey, I feel better. I'm more alert. I'm not as tired. Um, and what do we want to say about what you're putting into their bloodstream, doctor, that this is a vitamin, it's not toxic, it's natural, can you overdo it, what happens if you do, et cetera? Well, Tell I've us. been in practice for 12 years, and I've not had any serious side effects. I've never been called in the middle of the night. Uh, patients frequently tell me that they've been to 27 other doctors, and this is the first thing that's ever helped them. Uh, do, you, do, you, uh, do you suggest, I don't know if the word is prescribe, licorice? as an effective treatment uh, as good as some drugs used in ulcers. So? There's an extract of licorice that's used. Uh, there are probably 15 studies, mostly from England, on the use of an extract of licorice to heal peptic ulcers. And it has been compared to the two commonly used drugs, Tagamet and Zantac, and it's found to be about as effective as them with less side effects and it's a lot less expensive. Michael Silvestri, me and you. Stand up a second, Michael. We can do this. Um, asthma, right? Yes. Since you were, probably since you were a baby. Yeah. Have a hard time breathing. Mm -hmm. It's a talk show, Michael. I can't do this by myself. <laughs> uh, when you were five, you weighed only 28 pounds. Yes. So this arrested your whole, you were probably always tired and uh, out of breath and you, you couldn't do all the things other kids were doing. You had a very serious asthmatic uh, condition, right, Mom? Yes, he did. He certainly did. He I didn't say you could sit down yet, Michael. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, emergency room 20, 21 times a year? Nope. Yes, and when you, when you think about that, we're talking just about every other week we had a medical crisis with him. 20 to 21 uh -oh. times in the emergency room per year, on an average two hospitalizations per year resulting in usually a five-day stay. One year, actually, it was four hospitalizations. Yeah. Uh, he was just a very, very sick child. I was losing him. He was dying right in front you of my eyes. He was go. And this was with conventional medicine. Yes, so, uh, which included what were they doing? They, for one, they were prescribing 800 milligrams of a slow-acting theophylline. Uh, the common name for it is Theodore Sprinkles, which, by the way, has been reviewed by the FDA a and uh, approved. No, well, they were reevaluating it, okay. uh, and he also was taking a product called Allupent inhalant, Allupent liquid. He was constantly on a, a moxicillin. I assume he was in, he was allergic to cats, dogs, animals, and oh know. yes, and he's in the city and doesn't get around too many goats, but conventional right. medicine seemed right. to think he was allergic to them. Okay, we'll get back to you, mom, but I want you to put a, put the happy ending on this thing. What happened? Yes, this is a very happy ending, a very successful story. This child used to sit next to me on the park bench and watch other children play, and now he is a player, he is a receiver. Because he what? Laughs. what did you do? Well, I found a better way. I found an alternative. Yes, Dr. Gaby is your doctor, is he? Yes, he and is. And he did what? I mean, what's, what had diet? Well, he evaluated the situation. The problem with conventional medicine is they treat the symptoms, namely his asthma attacks. Right. Dr. Gaby, to my way of thinking, is a medical detective, and he found out some of the real problems that he was having, severe allergies to food. And right. when you have severe allergies to food and you have severe pollen allergies, you can't do very much about the environment, but you can control what you put in your mouth. Well, how, what's he not eating now that he... Well, he had severe allergies to milk, dairy products, refined sugar, chocolate. Uh, caffeine got him, didn't it? Oh, yes, definitely caffeine. And there's all caffeine and chocolate. Boys love. Mm -hmm. All the things yeah. that little boys love. So no Cokes, no chocolate, no sugar. And no McDonald's. No, no McDonald's because uh, uh, the, the, the meat and the grease and the, huh? Yes, that was very tragic for him and one of the things that was so tragic too and this process has not changed within 10 years if he were to go to conventional medicine today he would be treated in the same way with adrenaline shots which he had problems with yes and it, the medicine the practice hasn't changed so yeah. why go back to that yeah you're a receiver are you yes you can catch you got glue fingers do you yeah you doing well yeah good okay thank you yeah. Micah you can sit down now yes um, I got a break here. 
Doctor, hey, what is this? We don't know whether he outgrew it, number one. We don't know. There are, there are many, well, many... wait a minute. There, I had asthma are, as a kid, and I outgrew it. There are many... That young? Uh, how there, old are you, Michael? He's 12. Uh, yeah, around then, 12, 13, I kind of busted out. We don't, there are many, many variables that, that can't be measured. Many variables, to be sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Harvey Waxman, MD, and you're also a lawyer. Well, well. <laughs> How come you don't live in my neighborhood? You're a trial lawyer for malpractice. You defend or do you sue? I sue. We you have sue. the largest practice in the country. You're an sure. MD who sues MDs? Yeah, I'm a neurosurgeon who sues lawyers uh, and physicians who wow. commit malpractice in hospitals. So you're, an, you're a neurosurgeon. Wait a minute. So you meet your patient and you say, whereas, lie down. I'm going to operate uh, on you. We, also... Harvey, uh, Dr. Waxman, I know you have something to say here. We'll give everybody a chance. I do have to break here. And this audience is in this. This audience is not going to let the host die out here. You've got your own, you've got your own uh, questions asked, I have no doubt. And we'll be back in just a moment. deodorant will do but movers and shakers need lady speed stick this antiperspirant works all day at full tilt even if you don't maximum strength lady speed stick maximum protection against wetness and odor clinically proven for the mover and shaker in all of us we are hooked on bonnets we are learning to read this is the best class I've ever had in my life. It has to be due to Hooked on Phonics. The best investment you could make would be to buy this program. There is no better way to learn, and it's the best investment you will ever make. We are Hooked on Phonics! Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. If you're suffering from problems associated with breast implants, you may be entitled to compensation. Call 426-3000. Our law offices may be able to help you. We don't get paid unless we get a recovery for you. Call 426-3000 for free legal advice regarding your claim. We can answer your questions about breast implants. Call 426-3000. We help injured people. We can help you. How would you feel if your son or daughter wouldn't let you see your own grandchild? Debbie's so hurt, she thinks about killing herself. He is part of my life. He is a part of me. Bill and Pauline were so desperate, they went to court. Since we've been married, her family has done nothing but interfere, aggravate, and torment the situation. Regardless if they're having problems or not, okay, we want to see the baby. Will they ever be able to make peace? Find out next Sally. Wednesday at 10 on 21 Alive. Sir, you wanted to say, uh, repeating, you're a neurosurgeon lawyer. Uh... I'm also president of the American Board of Professional Liability Attorneys and professor of neurosurgery as well as law in two other places. Wow, you are the son my mother wanted to have. <laughs> but the truth is, I look out for the uh, patient and interested in their welfare. And the yeah. point that was just pointed out is someone who has a disease process for 25 years and still living, obviously nothing too much is wrong with them, as was pointed out. Also, it's anecdotal to have a particular individual because there is other reasons for something to happen. The point of it is that the best care, certainly physicians would be interested in giving the best care possible and medicine is but unfortunately there are others that take advantage of the system and attempt to do right. that and I, I speak from the position that I sue doctors and hospitals all over the country for doing the wrong thing that's why I would wonder why you wouldn't be a little more empathic toward those people who would uh, seek alternative methods you you make your living may I say as a neurosurgeon yeah. in and in a in a realm that is collapsing in a realm that in many, many ways shows evidence of shameful neglect 
and lack of management skills. You make your living with other colleagues, men and women alike, who are prescribing too much medicine, taking too many x-rays, invading the body cavity with surgical instruments too often, and patting people on the head and sending them off to a drugstore. This is shameful what's happened in our own, and I'm not suggesting that all people should be taken to public square in the gallows, but I would think a person with your uh, vision, both as a, as a physician and as a lawyer, would have some empathy for Michael uh, Silvestri's uh, well-being after alternative medical care I, sir, and have, other people. I have, first of all, lots of empathy for Michael and glad that he's better. But I can also point out that most of my living is made in practicing law and not medicine. But I also point out those things <coughs> that are wrong with medicine and wrong with physicians who do things. Right. But to me, certainly, a proper care is the best care, not something that's not scientific, has no basis. Nobody's ever done a study that means anything. There is nothing, no disease process that they really help and is in naturopathy and homeopathy is nice but terms why do you really care do anything. as long as they're not poisoning people I when tell you why huh? because there's disease process that can be missing and therefore go but, on to have the traditional problem. people aren't catching them all that well no question there's lots of malpractice take place in this country well not only that is, what have you done for cancer I, this is not a personal well, assault you on you done for cancer what? there's been first of all there's a doctor of EC who ends up who's probably uh, effectively destroyed more people's lives in this country than anybody who's ever been on death row. This fellow has treated patients with selenium no, for years and did nothing. We're going to have quacks, no doubt about and it. The there are people out there. We're <clears throat> drugging older people. You ever, take a look no at your mother's medicine thought. cabinet. I mean, you got, and they're falling down, breaking their hips. It's no awful question. what's happened. No question, it's wrong. It's there's wrong. lots and of you're things that are it. wrong in medicine, yeah. Yeah. and there's a lot of people that are taking advantage of senior citizens who uh, over-prescribe drugs, and also the drug companies who rip off the senior citizens with huge amounts of money right. paid for drugs that cost them very little. And you've got problems with chiropractors, too. Absolutely. What are they? Well, they don't do anything. Oh, come on. Uh, well, what they do is... What do you mean? The spine? They, I mean, oh, it's great. You huh? need 2,100 pounds per square inch to move the spine. No, you don't. You can see it on the x-ray. They oh, can yeah. move it around. Oh, yeah, they now, there are some you abuses. Will. Some guys will have you coming back every other day, you know, and you're saying that's wrong. The point is they take advantage of people. They charge so them for do things MDs. they don't do. So no do questions. MDs. The world is full of them. Buyer but you got to at least do something that's useful. The buyer can't be aware because they don't know enough to be aware. Well, that's, that's a problem. patronizing attitude that no, we've got to no, fix. We've got to get smart. Patient, you heal thyself. Billy, you're not fixing it. You're making it worse. Tell me how I'm making it worse. You're attacking medicine as though it's a defense against quackery. Attacking medicine is not a defense against I'm quackery. not attacking medicine, and I want, I'll tell you well, what. Well, you said doctors give out too many drugs. Uh, they do, they if, do. in too many, many numbers, in too that's great right. a numbers. That's it, not a justification. Not all doctors, but... But that is not a justification. That's not a justification. That don't work at all, and a whole system of people who take advantage of others by the Edward R. Ellis, Jr., neuropathic medical physician, Connecticut. You can't be all bad if you're from Connecticut. You're a, you're a licensed physician and an outspoken advocate of natural medicine, and you wanted to say. Yes, my profession is naturopathic medicine, and I graduated one of the finest medical schools in the country. It is, it is an accredited four-year medical college. I have 12 years of college, and we're trained in the scientific practice of using plant medicines, botanical medicines, homeopathic medicines, nutritional medicines to yield some of the best results in the world with all kinds of diseases. I love the term, best results. Where are the results? Where are the tests? Where are the showing that any of it works? Where is there any place, any study that means I, I anything spent, in any significant disease process? I, 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 I have answers. spent years and years and years in studying the medical <laughs> literature trying to validate how these things work. And I, I, Can I get into the medical question, literature. Though, where sure. are the results of people who are hospitalized for 10 and 15 years with the same ailment? No results. Nothing's getting better. I see results in natural medicine. But if you live I don't for 15 see any, years, it can't be too serious then, an illness. Well, yeah, Most but if you're not getting any, dark, if you're not getting any better and you have the same <laughs> ailment after 15 years, come on. What ailment? If it's still Name there, the disease process. cancer. Cancer. If you got 15 I mean, anything, years, you have cancer, and you have 15 years, How about the that's common pretty cold? good. That's not bad. What about the common cold? <clears throat> the common cold doesn't mean as anything. As simple as it is, it's a very serious <clears throat> ailment. Yes, it is. Serious ailment. Yes. You're not going to die from it, hopefully. Wisdom in the audience. <laughs> I believe both types of medicine should complement each other. If, if the natural medicine isn't doing something, then maybe they should go for the regular type of medicine. But my thing is, um, in homeopathic medicine and holistic medicine right. these extracts and oils and things that they use how are they proven that they're not going to be too strong that it's going to harm the patient 
in the end. Well, with, we, with homeopathic medicine, there's an easy answer because, I mean, there's no way they're too strong. As Dr. Barrett says, his criticism is that they, they're too weak, therefore it's impossible for them to act. But to say they're so small and there's, you know, that it can't work, that's, that's not a, you know, those two, uh, that premise and the conclusion don't logically follow. Yes, you know, what do. we're dealing with, no, what we're dealing with is basically a new paradigm. We're incorporating new understandings mm -hmm. of, of physics and nuclear physics into the possibility of changing the very concept of how nature works. It's happened before. There have been revolutions in science and understanding of nature. These people criticize because the technology's not there yet to demonstrate the operating mechanism. But all you have to do is look at conventional what? medicine. So much of conventional medicine has no scientific explanation. Yet it's done. It's done on the basis of empirical observation. And in homeopathy, there is adequate empirical observation to show the clinical effectiveness. Okay. And, and, and even, and even, and even if his silver bullet doesn't work, it doesn't kill anybody. Except the only problem with it is if you have a disease process they're playing with, which is significant and can be treated, and, you're, and not you're treated, waiting for the, the then the carcinogenic effect right, takes over point. and you can't. And it's spread already. Get, uh, goodbye. We're yeah. not we, playing with it. We know how to diagnose uh, come disease. On, we know, know if somebody's on, getting worse. We have some of the greatest scientific validation in the medical literature. I've spent years and years and years. It's Where is it published? Where is it published in your American yeah. American There it is. It, 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 nutritional it's therapy for the 90s is published. It's, it's published. I've published Listen, out a list of yeah. 3,000. Do <laughs> now, wait a minute. Do I have your agreement? Do I have your agreement? Uh, thalidomide is just one nightmare. The FDA is not an almighty no effective. Question. The FDA is, is, feels the political economic thalidomide. pressure of large pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> Approve this bill, my stock's going to go up. The Approve thalidomide. this pill and we're going to split three for one. There's a lot goes on in those thalidomide rooms. Thalidomide is a perfect example because it was not FDA approved. It's an example of an unproven method that came from another country into this one and got onto the market partly by people bringing it in. It's an unproven method. It turned out to be terribly dangerous. And we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Losing weight is such a personal process. At Jenny Craig, your counselor focuses on the way you live, what's good for you, not what's good for 150 other people. And when you need a little extra support, just call. She's someone who really cares about you, all the way to your goal weight. It's amazing what that kind of personal commitment can do for your figure. Instead of just another diet, get personal weight management at Jenny Craig, all for just one low program fee. Call Jenny Craig. The emergency in-store warehouse sale continues through Labor Day at Value City Furniture. And we've restocked our showrooms with even more incredible markdown merchandise. Buy this fabulous love seat and sofa, not a thousand, not even eight hundred. Buy both pieces for only six hundred eighty-eight dollars. And as a special bonus, get the matching chair free. Beautiful country bedroom dresser, mirror headboard and chest, all four pieces, now two hundred ninety-eight dollars. Twin color queen size sleeper sofa, short choice, two hundred ninety-eight dollars. Four drawer chest, thirty-nine dollars. Don't miss the final days of the emergency in-store warehouse sale now through Labor Day at Value City Furniture. They usually bring me one helping. Six to seven plates was a good meal. Ate much more than I thought I would because it was tasty. Oh, I only had two. I can have all that I want. It's Ponderosa's new all-you-can-eat shrimp. And that's really great and also... Complete with our grand buffet and Sunday bar, all for just $5.99. You're telling tales, Marion. <laughs> Anybody can offer all-you-can-eat. Ponderosa gives you what you want to eat. Just, I just had one. One's good enough for me. Here at 21 Alive, we're always interested in what you think. What are we doing right? How can we improve? Recently, through Arbitron and Nielsen surveys, you told us that we're doing great. You rated 21 Alive News number one again. You also told us how much you like Donahue, Sally, Oprah and Cheers, as well as ABC's primetime programs. As a matter of fact, you rated 21 Alive number one from sign on to sign off. From all of us at 21 Alive, thanks for letting us be your number one choice for information, entertainment, and news. To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't eat white bread. How many times do we have to tell you people? Don't <laughs> eat white bread. <laughs> this is bad for you. <laughs> there we go. Don't 
eat potato chips. It's up to you. It's up to you. Don't eat margarine. Why not? Margarine contains a toxic substance called trans fatty acids, which has now been shown after nutritionists have been saying it for 20 years to accelerate heart disease. Yeah, uh, are you, is this the product you're gonna tell me you shouldn't drink? What is that stuff? I mean, is this, what, what is, what's Looks that? Looks like artificially sweetened chemicals. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're four square against this too? It's not the worst thing we do, but. Gatorade. Uh, Gatorade's not so good for you. Why, what's the matter with it? It's got artificial uh, sweeteners in it. We don't know what those things don't do. Don't eat Tang. They took Tang to the moon. What are you talking about? <laughs> now you're really getting rough on us here. Don't drink wine. And what are you covering this label? Don't drink all wine? Or is this champagne? What is this? Champagne, I guess. Well, if you've got high blood pressure, the chances are that alcohol is contributing. Alcohol is hard to argue for it, isn't it? <laughs> Under any... All right. We're trying to help you out. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat white rice. Don't drink coffee. Sugar participates in a glycosylation reaction that changes the conformational structure of proteins in the body. <laughs> I knew that. This audience didn't know that. Um, let me... Uh, so you're, the point is, diet is... Uh, Very fundamental to the cure and causative factors involved in disease. Yeah, yeah. Many, people, many people eat things that mm. cause various problems in their body. For instance, if you eat a lot of animal fats, it's got arachidonic acid in it. It pushes an inflammatory prostaglandin pathway, which causes inflammation throughout the body. You take essential fatty acids, they push anti-inflammatory prostaglandin pathways that moderate the disease processes. Look, they're using lots of terms. Uh, None of them really mean anything to people here. In the and scientific the point literature, is, these things are all in there. I know, it's very important. The fact is, is you have to eat in this world, and there are foods here that everybody eats, and, and everybody lives foods. 72, 75 years, and 80 years, so consequently, none of this really makes any there, difference. There are yeah. a thousand thousands show. of articles. Let me show them, doctor. Lots of articles. Eat whole fruits. Yes. Yes. You ready? <laughs> This is a good-looking apple. I, uh, you know, I hope they didn't treat it. Gently. All right. <laughs> good catch. Good catch. Cauliflower. Eat cauliflower. Eat sunflower seeds. Eat beans. Eat brown rice. And whole wheat bread. That's what you want to eat. Um, as well as uh, lean meat stock. Lean meats. Lean, lean meats, you know, because of the Iraq Chicken, acid, fish, exactly, things like that. Exactly. Yes. All right. This Heart audience disease. wants in here. This is a look at non-traditional medicine. Yes. <clears throat> I would like to ask uh, the second gentleman. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. My name? Yes. Okay. You said for ear infections in youngsters, you use chamomile tea. How does that, how does no. that cure an ear infection? And then the second part of the question is, how does it compare with antibiotics that are given that the child would be well in 10 days? Well, we don't use chamomile tea. We use homeopathic chamomilla. I could explain the process by which homeopathic remedies are made, but it might take too long. But we, and we use many ingredients. The point is about homeopathy. One of its founding uh, principles is treat the individual more more than the disease, actually, you treat the totality of symptoms. You take into account all aspects of an individual and prescribe a medicine that's geared to stimulate the immune functioning and optimize biological functioning in general. And it's through that enhanced immune function that a bacterial infection, for instance, is overcome. Oh, we might on. use, you we might use any one of uh, You don't use 200 medicines. That person is going to end oh. up with heart disease or kidney disease, as you well know. So consequently, treating it with something that doesn't make any difference is not going to help that patient. That's why they need it for 10 days, well, because I've, you want to make sure that they don't get uh, yes. a specific disease well, it's uh, your presumption, of the kidney sir, that or it makes the heart. No difference, Where is your study been published? On. Where's Come there a double blind study, study that shows what that study shows what you do we have is none. The British Medical Journal. For years. The British Medical Journal. For years. Right. Come here. Come on. I've Where? seen it. I've, I see it what, very what, often in which clinical Which one of your practice. homeopathic things and the fact, help uh, strep? The fact I, 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 I get results reducing anti streptolysis antibody oh, titer, reducing on. it down with homeopathic strep. Come on. Where people have rheumatological problems, they have tremendous joint dis joint problems, and it's, it's due to high levels of, of ASOT titer in the blood. Where is it published? They got the disease. And you gave it to the Do you consume the chamomile uh, uh, product uh, orally, or is it applied to the it's ear? It's taken orally. Orally. But this is an interesting point, which is so such a common <laughs> strategy amongst the uh, orthodox medical camp that opposes homeopathy, is 
Where is it published? Okay, again, I want to emphasize, like in 1978, the Office of Technology Assessment did a review of prevailing medical procedures and found 80% of them had no scientific justification. Oh, then they, okay. they, they, That's you know, they chant, they chant, they chant, they chant, where was it published? They chant, where was it published? In 78, how about something newer? Well, how about your people what about, out an that, article got showing well, what about many of the There's orthodox chemicals? There's another question here, doctor, and that is, the AMA is the publishing house. No, it isn't. They, they, have own, they don't have it in their own you know, journals. You're condemning though. him for not being published, and you're the people who publish. The a, I'm no, not the AMA. AMA. The AMA, AMA doesn't. I'm they have their... But I'm certainly against most of the policies the AMA particularly. Well, then why don't we just open the door to this? Because Let's open the door. Work. We'll be back in door. just a moment. <laughs> The question is, how can you make all those foods you love in a way you can feel better about? Chef Bert Wolf. Here's one good answer. 90% unsaturated Crisco oil. You see, when you're cooking with oil, you want to cut back on saturated fat. Compared to olive or corn oil, Crisco is lower in saturated fat. Crisco looks light. And there's no heavy oily taste. Mmm. When you make what you love, make it smarter. Make it with Crisco. Cooks who know, trust Crisco. With all I've got to do, I can't afford a sleepless night. So when I feel I can't sleep, I take maximum strength Nitol. It's safe and it works fast. And that means a better night's sleep. Get to sleep in minimum time with maximum strength Nitol. For a yeast infection, I want an effective cure at a reasonable price. So I switched from Monistat 7 to MySelect 7. My doctor says its medicine is also full prescription strength and MySelect costs a lot less. Now my choice, my cure, is MySelect. Everything in this television spot's at least 50% off comparable retail prices at Value City. Young Men's Famous Label Knit Tops and Denim Jeans, not $58, your choice, $24.99. Young Men's Famous Maker Denim and Garment Wash Shirts and Famous Maker Casual Slacks, not $22, your choice, $9.99. And Men's Leather Jackets from You 2 Wear Me Out, not $185, only $79.99. The hottest styles, the most named brands, the biggest selection, and the best values? We've got it at Value City Department Stores. I've been hired at that office I told you about. I'm using the same equipment I trained with at ITT Technical Institute. And I can afford my own place. Did I ever thank you for making me call ITT Tech that day? That's all the thanks I needed. Call ITT Technical Institute at 1-800-942-0088 for this brochure. 1-800-942-0088. The Wizards cap off their first season of Amazing Baseball Thursday night at 7 with Fan Appreciation Night. I'm Greg Johans. Not only do you get to see the Wizards, you could win thousands of dollars in prizes like this 9-inch portable TV from 21 Alive. And one lucky fan will leave the diamond with the diamond, a real diamond from Bakula and Golf. Come out and see the Wizards close out the first season. You might walk home a winner. Fan Appreciation Night brought to you by the Wizards, Bakula and Golf and 21 Alive. Uh, Dr. Stephen Barrett is the uh, gentleman on the left, at your left of the stage up there. Here is a thoughtful consumer's guide to alternative medicine, which is not necessarily an endorsement. Uh, <laughs> what moves you here, Dr. Barrett? I want to give you a shot here. You're, you're concerned about what? If you can't prove it, you shouldn't be selling it. Uh, alternative is a buzzword that represents uh, anywhere up to 100 or so different things, uh, which, uh, which are promoted by all sorts of people with all sorts of theories, but the one thing they have in common is they haven't been proven to work. All the doctors, all the um, holistic doctors, there are MDs. Do they ever use regular medicine if they can't yeah. use the holistic? Yes. Many, of them, yes. many of them do, and many of them say they do. Uh, what uh, the details, of course, are not uh, public knowledge because Medical care basically is a private matter that takes place between the patient and the doctor. Over here, please. Personally, I believe in the holistic medicines and the natural medicines, and I feel that you can make statistics say anything, so you guys whipping off your Xeroxes just means absolutely nothing to me. What I want to know <clears throat> is, holistically, are they going to become so far removed from the patient 
as conventional medicine is, that we're just right back where we began. We're the same you know, I, health food for program. example, I'm getting ready to take a long trip. I just looked something up on jet lag. I found that I could use a combination of evening primrose oil and valerian, but no one tells me how much, in what kind of dosage, how early I need to begin. Am I once again going to have to break down and see a holistic physician to get these answers just as I would have to see a All conventional right. physician. Well, Dr. Waxman wants you to save your time. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Uh, but thankfully, we have some other people on the uh, panel who would probably be glad there, to there give you just an overview on this. Yes. There are many things you can use for jet lag and uh, work on circadian rhythm. For instance, is melatonin, and that affects the circadian rhythm. I have people coming in to see me that are blind, and they can't sleep at night. Giving you a little bit of supplementation of melatonin resets their circadian clock so they're sleeping appropriately. You can also work with various things that modify neurotransmitters in the brain and affect the jet lag. But had I not been standing here today, I would not have received that information. I find it very difficult to find that type of information in publications and well, magazines. Well, there's a reason you can't find the information, because the Food and Drug Administration makes it illegal to disseminate to you the information that's available in any medical library. And if you make a claim for a supplement that they have not approved, then they will seize the product from the manufacturer. That's why you can't the get the information. The fact of the matter is, without a four-year degree in right. biology, not gonna I'm not going to be able to understand anything that's about right. conventional well, you need medicine to either. The law so, so that the information can be disseminated. Just the opposite. I mean, you need to see to it. Disease processes. That's not a disease process. That's something that happens to people. If you go to sleep, you get better. So the point is, you don't <laughs> need to treat it with, the, with drugs or anything else. So it's an absurdity. Conventional in medicine place. also has preventative techniques. And all I've heard you talk about is treatment to specific ailments. And I know there are preventative techniques um, like applied in conventional medicine. Therefore, I assume there also are preventative techniques applied in natural and homeopathic medicines. Why would there not be? You've been pretty effectively Absolutely. brainwashed by somebody. Right. <laughs> you, you, you can affect heart disease, for instance. There's a substance in Horthone called the proanthrocyanidins that reinforce the structure of the cardiac wall, strengthen the heart. I have patients coming in that have serious heart problems. These patients were told they were going to die, and within a very short period of time, their cardiac problems are responding tremendously. Oh, yeah. Yes. I think um, the better majority, though, of the nation right now does use some kind of natural medicine because I'm a nurse in an uptown hospital here, and most people don't come to the hospital until their natural medicines have failed. How, how accessible is this homeopathic medicine as opposed to conventional medicine? May I medicine? have your feelings about it as an RN? Do you, what are your thoughts about this? Um, So-called, I know it's complicated, but non-traditional medicine. People use it already. All the folk medicines. I was in South Carolina for a while, and a lot of the rural medicines. Too good effect. Yeah, some of it. And they, when, when you get to a certain point, you do have to turn to a conservative or a regular doctor. Yes. And your question was. Uh, How accessible is this homeopathic medicine? I know con conventional medicine isn't very accessible to the normal, lower class, middle class person. How conventional or how? Uh, oh, accessible is the homeopathic as opposed well in america it's not nearly as accessible as it once was at the turn of the century um, one quarter to one third of all physicians were homeopaths there were 22 homeopathic medical schools 200 hospitals after the ama developed its strategies and implemented them there was a gradual deterioration of you that mean in it, europe it faded, it, far more it, faded, it faded away because it didn't work and it couldn't right. compete exactly well, I and disagree. also <laughs> that the fact is at that time medicine if that didn't was the reason well if, if lack and of the point efficacy is it still was the reason it well, faded and there are other europe. things that could be better no. and hopefully in the future medicine will be better <laughs> but the fact is those things that you're talking about don't do anything and, and we'll be back in just a moment Before nightfall, 40,000 children will die from hunger and disease. 55 will die before I finish talking. They're dying because to most of us, they're nameless, faceless masses, too numerous to help. But they each have a name and they can be helped one by one. If you can set aside 70 cents a day, $21 a month, then please call this number and sponsor a child like Maria. Maria might be a statistic now. If it weren't for Angela Toth, a homemaker from Michigan. Before Angela sponsored Maria through Christian Children's Fund, the situation was very bad. Maria and her mother were alone and frightened. Maria's father had been kidnapped. And with no source of income, it's pretty tough to get along in this part of the country. But Maria will, thanks to Angela. Now they share pictures, letters, their joys, sadness.
Thousands of children, just as precious as Maria, die every day. Not because people are heartless, but because we feel powerless. How many times have you heard child mortality statistics and thought, the problem's so big, what can I do? You can do plenty. You can pick up the phone and save one child. That's a great feeling. Meet Jose, sponsored by Scott Blevins, a Florida technician. Jose is just getting over pneumonia, which is usually fatal here. You see, where Jose lives, there's no clean water, no medicine, nothing but poverty. But with Scott's $21 a month, Christian Children's Fund is able to give Jose good food, clean water, warm clothes, and the penicillin that saved his life. The only thing we can't save you from is your schoolwork. Christian Children's Fund can do a lot with your $21. Remember, your phone call can make a wonderful difference in the life of a child. The number for Christian Children's Fund is on your screen. Please call it. We'll send you the name and photo of a child you can sponsor. For a transcript of Donahue, send $3 to Journal Graphics, 1535 Grant Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203, or call 303-831-9000. To order a video cassette for only $24.95, just call 1-800-FOR-VIDEO. All right, now listen, just one little uh, story here, not so little, to Judith Campbell. Diagnosed MS, multiple sclerosis, a very serious neurological disease which strikes young adults. You were how old when you were diagnosed, Judith? Oh, boy, that's 38. 30. I'm just so attractive. Yeah, <laughs> 38. So did you feel it in your wheels or your motors or what was happening? I had basically four years of symptomology, blurred vision, weakness in the legs, tingling, the whole, um, you know, yeah. profile. You went to three doctors and they diagnosed it as? Multiple sclerosis. And you said, not me, or what'd you say? Well, this was, I had three doctors that worked together, a Hopkins neurologist, an ophthalmologist, and an internist. Right. And they said, it's MS. And I said, okay, what do I do now? And they said, there's nothing you can do. There's absolutely nothing you can do. And I just wasn't willing to accept that. So I, I turned to holistic medicine, found Dr. Gaby, and one of the first things he does with patients that have any disorder, you know, such as mine, right. is to simply say, let's make sure there's nothing in your diet that you're ingesting is, that's causing your symptoms. And, and, he, and so you have had a modified diet as a result of your visits with Dr. Gaby. Correct. You don't consume what, for example? Well, what we found out that was the biggest portion of the problem was the ingestion of sulfites, which is a food preserver that is used across the board in the United States yeah. in processed foods. Uh-huh. So the, uh, those synthetic uh, additions to our foods that allow for longer shelf life and enhance the marketability of the product uh, weren't good for you? Absolutely not. They gave me, I had neurologic symptoms from them, numbness, tingling. Right. And you've noticed it then when you get off it. Is that it? Oh, I mean, absolutely. What right. happens to me, if I go over and eat the potato chips and no one wanted not to eat and I loved potato chips, I will have a reaction to that. Right. Okay. Now, now, Judith, what is the situation now? MS people often takes, take one step backward, two forward, three back. How are you? I'm really well as long as I watch my diet. Now, you still feel the legacy. You're not here to say you're cured. Please, oh, no. let's be honest. What happened to me, I guess, about six months ago was I was not aware that sugar is sulfited. So I was doing some soda and just having some things like that, and I really got hit very hard. You actually feel a paralysis, a tingly, a neural something? But mostly it's a weakness first, and then the whole rest of the symptoms will start. Uh huh. Okay. Now, how are your wheels, and how are your motors? Are you fine now? Or how much okay. of a deficit do you have? I have some nerve damage that's in my left ankle that came. I think from the ingestion over all of those years right. of the, of but the you stuff. don't need a cane you don't need a uh, well sometimes if I get really bad uh -huh. um, if but I eat the wrong yeah. thing you have noticed a difference since visiting Dr. absolutely well, we well first of all you have diagnosis of exclusion is multiple sclerosis and people blow diagnosis second of all you right. certainly in that circumstance is remissions in MS if she had it she may not have had it ever and well, the three point diagnoses is the Come fact on. is there's still plenty I sue plenty of people for making the wrong diagnosis three times including some of the outside standing right. people in the yeah. country on occasion. To which comment Dr. K uh, Gaby would say what? <clears throat> It doesn't matter. This woman had symptoms before. We did something very simple. It, it did matter. not cost a lot of money, and now she's doing well. And every time she ingests sulfite, she gets a recurrence of symptoms. So if you call that an anecdote, that's a very good no, anecdote. No, no, no. Yeah. But I'm saying she may never have had MS. Well, that's the, the point. The point is, the people that are diagnosed with this type of a condition, it doesn't matter about empirical data. It, I want to well, say to well, you, well, doctor, doctor, do with doctor what data. are you afraid of? It has nothing of? to do with empirical data. What are you... Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you...
are you afraid of? I can't hear you. What are you afraid of? The point is, I'm, I'm not, not going to say, I'm not going to say, here, feed me sulfite and I'll go into a neurologic problem for empirical data results. Have you been doing okay. empirical okay. data? I've, no, a double blind test. Have you had would a double blind test to see whether you're allergic to sulfites? MS says you can't no. make the diagnosis. No. That's the point, unless you uh, open up somebody's spinal so cord and look, which you don't do. You're suggesting there may be a placebo effect here, doctor? I don't know. I'm uh, suggesting there might be. That's, that's right. right. Possible. That's right. She right. may also have sulfite sensitivity, but that has nothing to do with MS. And right. we'll be back. They just just in my case. <laughs> Fat-free Promise Ultra. Zero fat with just five delicious calories a serving. And every time I see you grin. It's the first fat-free margarine. Definitely one of a kind. You make me feel so young. Regular or new fat-free Promise Ultra. Get heart smart. I like the variety and the people are always very helpful and we always get really good prices. You'll like the prices in Scott's Butcher Shop this week. Grill up some USDA choice steaks at your Labor Day cookout or dine on beef roast. Your choice, 25% off a pound. People save a lot of money. You'll save on all varieties of Edie's Grand Ice Cream. With coupon, pick up two half gallons for just $5. Scott's, where's your store? It's back to school time at Shastar, and it's as easy as ABC to get what you need today. This Frigidaire heavy-duty washer is just $10.29 a week. Add the Frigidaire dryer for just $7.99 a week. Plus, save on TVs, VCRs, refrigerators, and freezers all this week. And with Shastar, you get A, the lowest weekly prices, B, top quality products, and C, free delivery setup and service of what you need today. We're in the white pages or call 1-800-22-SHASTAR for a store near you. It's as easy as ABC, the back-to-school sale going on now at Shastar. Nice shot, Mark. Thank you. The Junior Achievement Bowlathon is coming September 25th and 26th to area bowling alleys. I'm 21 Live's Greg Johans. And I'm Magic Mark Evans. Help us support the 47,000 kids involved in JA by bowling on a team or pledging dollars to one of the 3,000 bowlers. Register your team now at your place of work or at the Junior Achievement office. The Junior Achievement Bowlathon, brought to you by WAJI, Magic 95.1. At 21 Alive, register your team today. Yes. Um, my question is, is that why, it seems to me that homo homeopathy and the other things work, but why are you so concerned of protecting us from it? I mean, as patients, don't we deserve to have the choice? I mean, we're knowledgeable enough to make a decision. The point is, yes, I believe in freedom of choice after you know the truth. If you don't know the information, you can't make a, uh, an intelligent choice. And you'll be choice. taking That's all the these herbs and spices, and the cancer will be getting worse, That's and you'll the die. Whole point. I'm interested in protecting the public. Which method is the least expensive? What? Which method is the least expensive? Naturopathic medicine offers one of the greatest hopes of this country in getting people better very simply and effectively and, and, and re resolving problems without the need for major intervention. Well, I, I agree with the lady in the audience that uh, we as patients are the ultimate authority. And no matter, we need these alternative medicines to know. We know our bodies. Yeah. Well, I, I had a friend that had a Lyme's disease, and he took, he went to herbalist, and he feels a lot better. He does. He tried traditional right. methods, and it, they didn't work. Right. Yes, ma'am. Right. You wanted right. to ask. Yeah. Right. It depends on what's wrong with you. Oh, right. right. <laughs> now, I thought. You're I, not going to take right. herbs and spices right. for a broken right. hip. That's you know. right. I, uh, seven years ago, I had a cancer operation, and I had a year of chemo. Yeah. And I'm very thankful that I'm still fine. Now, I don't know what they could have done for yeah. me. They couldn't have done anything. I just don't understand, as a doctor, why you would say that all your diet can't help you. I mean, it it's depends common what's sense. wrong with you. That's right. It depends on what's wrong. With you. Yes, ma'am. You wanted to ask. If nothing's wrong. Here. It works. I think they're Something's all wrong, these. Um, the 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 homeopaths. You're preying on people's ignorance, and the AMA just wants to keep an, a monopoly so, on. So what are we going to do then? I just, mean, the whole world's <laughs> gone to hell, and we're standing. Here. Well, thank God for lawyers who protect us from all of the quacks. Well, that's it. <laughs> I think Please. one of the questions is who you can believe, and I'll give you a very brief list. Number one, Consumers Union, publisher of Consumer Reports, is one outfit 
that I think enjoys great public trust. And I think they've looked at some of the alternative medis medical practices, and they're pretty negative. With a very biased eye, they've looked no, at it. Very yes, biased. Biased. There's so, there's so, so, much bias. there's yeah. so much medical this substantiation, it's incredible. Yeah, incredible. Lots of terms. This no question room. was written for me. My best questions come from people in the audience. If we're so medically advanced, why do we have so many new diseases? <laughs> we'll ask that question in just a moment. I'm Diane Parkinson, and after 18 years on The Price is Right and all those swimsuits, I've learned the secret to a good figure. It's right here, a firm tummy. That's why I'm so excited about something new, something simpler than sit-ups. It's called Easy Crunch. Easy Crunch, the greatest tummy toner I've ever found. It's so simple you can do it anytime, anywhere, by the pool, at the office, or even watching TV. With two kids, it's hard to work out, but I find time with Easy Crunch. I like to exercise when I'm watching TV, and I can use Easy Crunch while I'm sitting down. Aerobic exercise is great, but it took Easy Crunch to firm my tummy. Easy Crunch works all three abdominal muscle groups. The forward crunch works the upper abdominals. Knee ins target your lower stomach muscles. And the rotator crunch works your waistline. The secret is in the special rocking cylinder, which allows your body to move in an easy, natural arc through a full range of motion, similar to those $3,000 machines you find in the gym. The result? A firmer, tighter stomach without having to do one single sit-up. I hate sit-ups, but I love my Easy Crunch. I'm too busy to go to the gym. Easy Crunch works at home. Easy Crunch takes just a few minutes a day, and it works. Easy Crunch comes with five power bands so you can change the resistance. That makes it perfect for everyone. Now you can get a firmer stomach without doing a single sit-up. Call and order your Easy Crunch today. Easy Crunch, including five power bands and instruction booklet, is yours for just three easy payments of $9.95. To order, call 1-800-521-0200. That's 1-800-521-0200. We'll bill your credit card three easy payments of $9.95, plus $4.95 shipping and handling. And we won't bill your last payment till you've tried it for a full 60 days. Use your credit card to avoid COD charges or send check or money order for the full amount to the address on your screen. Or call 1-800-521-0200. Now! A boy is rushed to the hospital. His mother keeps a close watch over him. He wanted to put a hole in his neck and send him home on a machine. But is she protecting him or is she the victim of a bizarre mental illness that may kill him? On the next Mari Povich show, meet a mother whose child was taken away from her by the justice system. Key to this case was when the mother was separated from the child, the illness went away. On the next Mari. Wednesday at 11 on 21 Alive. She's more than twice his age. Will she still be the object of his desire as she gets older and older? Next on Hugh. You know, at this point, you'll forgive the host for taking the seconds left. We have to be more thoughtful as consumers. We aren't that stupid. We have been lemmings. Oh, doctor, please, what's wrong with me? Cure me. We've been helpless before the doctor. We've got to get smart. We owe it to ourselves to get smart. It's the only body we're going to have, and that's the end of my speech. What? I just want to say, you don't have to be a genius to know of all the garbage that they put in, our, in, the, in the preservatives that they use in our food today. You don't Service have to is provided and promotional no. fees paid the by the following. Jonel Flash Finish dries nails in less than a minute, adds luster as it hardens nail enamel to reduce chipping and cracking. It's about time. Flash Finish from Jonel. Guest accommodations provided by the luxurious Drake Hotel, a Swiss hotel on Park Avenue at 56th Street. Call 800-DRAKE-NY and ask about our weekend getaway and honeymoon packages. August clearance at Urban Brothers Furniture. No payments till 1994. No interest till 1994. No down.